as we're progressing through our training videos for how to trim and shoe your horse, as an owner and a shoer, you need the confidence that you shorten things enough, but you don't want to shorten too much, you don't want to make him sore. We're teaching you to use a template so that things make sense. We had our original template, the buttress was here. As I simply lowered one heel, the buttress shifted from here almost three quarters of an inch rearward. So your nippers cut really well. You know in your mind that you don't trim more than a half inch length. We have our centering pin, our imaginary centering pin. We keep it perpendicular to the surface we're establishing. And I was determined I'm only going to trim a half inch. So here I'm trimming a little bit less than a half an inch because I don't want to go too much. I'm going in stages. As I walk around with my nippers, I lower the heel. We'll look at our template. Our buttress didn't shift as much rearward as this one, but it is headed in the direction we need. I can't look at the bottom of the foot and tell how long is that toe or how short, but remember my finger's three and a quarter inches. I'm at three and three eighths inch length of toe. If I am trimming heels to shift the buttress back under the bulb, at different stages, I just imagine if I lower the heel one more eighth of an inch, that buttress only shifts an eighth, so I'll leave the heel. If I lower this heel an eighth of an inch, it'll shift a quarter, so I'm going to lower the inside to get that shift. 